Licorice Pizza is the new Paul Thomas Anderson movie. I saw this trailer a while ago, and uh, generally, I'm, I'm not a huge, you know, rom-com fan, mostly, so I, I didn't know how to think of this film going in, but I, I do like Paul Thomas Anderson. He has made, you know, some of the best movies ever. There Will Be Blood, Boogie Nights. The man knows what he's doing. So this is, this is a, an event film for a lot of people, and I understand why people would be super excited for it. This film just wasn't on the top of my radar um i was able to get a screening for it and uh um i do gotta say i did go in with my expectations lowered so i didn't really know what to expect i um can i only watch that one trailer so i knew the basic idea of the film um so i'm, I'm gonna sit here and tell you that i thought it was good i didn't think it was great i thought it was good i thought it was another very well done Paul Thomas Anderson movie. Another hit for him, because he, again, he this man, he knows what he's doing. And he clearly has a vision and a craft for the films he makes. He never just makes a movie. He always has a reason to do it. So, that movie always had that coming for it. But I, I want to get into the specifics of what I liked and what I just didn't like. So let's get into that. So let's start with the good. Right off the bat, I just, I want to say that these characters are amazing. I thought the actors and actresses did such an amazing job with these roles. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I remember the names of the characters, because I don't. I'm usually very bad at that. Um, but the characters were very well realized and very well developed, as well as they had some very great chemistry with each other. This movie has a very keen eye for amazing and quippy dialogue just very quick dialogue and it's very well done the film also has a very unique charm to it that makes it feel like it it's kind of just a hangout movie you know like kind of like a once upon a time in hollywood or something like that i feel like that movie kind of has that style of filmmaking there are scenes in this film where there's not really a lot going on it's just kind of a scene where two characters talk to each other and just you know experience each other's presence and it's 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 refreshing to see more scenes like that in a film like this especially since i feel like my biggest issue with rom-coms is they, they it always feels like there has to be something happening where in my opinion i think the best moments of those movies is when it takes the time to kind of just chill out with the characters a little bit so that being said i'm glad i'm really glad that movie did that I think it did it very well. The dialogue, again, this movie is very well written. Another thing that I, I loved about the film and I really did love was the production design. Um, they clearly got the time period right for this film. They did a very good job realizing what, you know, made this, th th this time period unique. So they did a very good job, you know, it, I think it was the 70s or 80s. One more amazing thing is that this film has some pretty unexpected cameos, cameos I didn't very really expect, and each of them serve a, you know, a weirdly perfect purpose in this movie. It's almost like they're placed in ways where it feels a little more than just a cameo. It feels like it's just another, it's, it's another piece of what makes the film so unique and funny instead of just you know shoving in a bunch of cameos they they make it feel like it's a part of the story or a part of um, a character's development it, it's 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 interesting and and i really liked how they went about that now i do have some issues with this film and uh i do want to get into those so let's do it <laughs> Probably my biggest issue with this film is it is too long. It could have been cut 15-20 minutes tops. Um, it feels like some scenes do drag out way too long and it feels like there is, even though I do like the hangout sequences, it feels like there's, there's a lot, not a lot, but there is a good amount that could have been cut out, especially since the film has a lot of those moments where it's like, does this need to be in here? But with all that being said, I, I thought 
the film was very well done. I also do think that I personally, I didn't feel a connection with the characters, even though I really like them. I feel like the film tries to connect you with the age of the characters, and I didn't really feel that connection. Um, especially since, you know, it's it's about a 15-year-old. The, the main story is about a 15-year-old, and, you know, it, it, they wanted... I, I could clearly tell that they wanted us to realize that this person was 15 years old, and there were definitely times where I didn't see that, and it wasn't very believable, because this man must be a very mature 15 year old you know and there and i will admit there are some scenes where he you know he definitely acts like a kid and uh they're very funny scenes um but overall i do think the film could have done that a little better um but that being said you know issues aside this film was fun and i had a really good time with it i don't think it's great and i, I definitely don't think it's per perfect Paul Thomas Anderson clearly and still knows what he's doing, and uh, I commend him for making another unique film. So with all that being said, I'm going to give Licorice Pizza a B. Thank you guys for watching this review. If you liked it, please just like, subscribe, tell me what you think of the movie. It's not out yet, but it comes out in the next week or so. So yeah, comment down your thoughts, and maybe if you've already seen it, and if you have, please, I'd love to discuss it with you. So, with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.